Hello, this is Scott Bicena at Broadband World Forum 2016. I'm talking to Raul Patel of Qualcomm. Now, Raul, you've just come out of uh, a keynote, so why don't you tell us what you're talking about there? Thanks, Scott. Um, what I was talking about at my keynote is there is a problem in the network today. There is a huge gap between the demand profile of a broadband service expectation and what the broadband service is being delivered to or the supply of the broadband service. And so the quality of the broadband service. And so if you look at the network today in the home, majority of the service, in fact, not all, are delivered over Wi-Fi or okay. some form of wireless technology. Yeah. The gap is largely coming between the application service needs and what the Wi-Fi services are available in the home. Okay. And it's less about what the broadband pipe coming into the home is all about and more about how the final experience is delivered and realized. Okay. This gap needs to be serviced irrespective of what the standards and the specifications that you have to work with. And you have to innovate above the network layer as a result. Qualcomm, through its innovation above the network layer, along with everything that they do standards compliant, yep. technologies like MU MIMO with Wave 2 AC, and with technologies like Wi-Fi SON, self-organizing networks, is able to bridge a lot of that gap that exists between supply and demand of the service at the end node, basically in the home. And Qualcomm is committed to bringing that gap even closer, or make closing that gap on a forward-looking basis by being one of the first to deliver a quality 811AX technology, which is based on the principles of cellular technology, which is where Qualcomm has done it yes. phenomenally well. And so we bring that into Wi-Fi world, again, standards compliant. There are other things that Qualcomm's also doing where they are solving the problems of the network, bringing fixed line capabilities, which are getting upgraded to fiber or multi-gigabit gigabit per second, but do not have the economics to bring that network yeah. service into the home as effectively, because the subscriber uh, pricing models are such that you know, it's prohibitive, and Qualcomm is trying to solve those issues wirelessly as well. Yeah, and I'm going to come on to that because uh, I know that one of the major themes, one of the major things that you've been talking about over the course of the whole show is, is fixed wireless. I'm going to ask you about that. But before we get there, can you just tell us a little bit more about some of the applications, the sort of digital home, smart home, connected home type of things that we're seeing enabled right now and, and into the near future? Well, I think the big, uh, big things that there are two big phenomena that are coming into the home right now in a, in a huge way. Every in any and every screen, be it five inch or your large screen, 65 inch screen, or your some form of display in the home, is now getting to a point where source and 4K video is a norm. Right. It's not a luxury, it's a norm, number one. Number two, there are networks in your home that you may not realize. You may think they are passive, but they are widely active. For example, your security subsystem, where your cameras are on all the time. A lot of these cameras are now wirelessly deployed. There are no wires associated with them. Security subsystems, your IoT devices, you have a lot of BLE firing in your home in the same frequency bands as Wi-Fi. And so some of these applications are driving the complexity that's happening in your home network that may create a problem from realizing the experience if not addressed through the right technology innovations. Okay, and so as I promised before, um, you know, one solution, we're, we're never going to have enough bandwidth, we're always going to want more bandwidth, as you say, 4K streaming videos to great big screens. Um, but fiber to the home absolutely everywhere is just not sort of economically viable sometimes. So Qualcomm's been talking a bit about um, fixed wireless at show. Can you just tell us briefly about that? Yeah, what Qualcomm's talking about is not exactly the fixed wireless technology, but helping solve the problems of fixed wireless technology right. wirelessly. Okay. What Qualcomm is doing is, you know, the economics again from the service provider and the operator's point of view where they terminate the fiber and try to bring fiber into the home or fiber-like services into the home. What Qualcomm is doing is eliminating the cost dimension of bringing the service into the home through wide deployment and having to deploy the infrastructure and additional cost that the operator may incur by deploying fiber-like wireless service in the home, okay. right? What Qualcomm is doing is using millimeter wave, 60 gigahertz, yep. which is unlicensed, technology, unlicensed yep. spectrum technology, to backhaul fiber okay. into the home. And uh, 
we have a demonstration over here to show how that is being done as well. Very realistic in its demo form as well. Brilliant. I'd like to show you that. Okay. So here, what you see is fiber termination or the fixed line being kind of converted to a wireless backhaul. We are using millimeter wave, 60 gigahertz, A2.11 AD in the 60 gigahertz band, which is unlicensed spectrum, to backhaul the last 500 feet of fiber termination or high speed termination over wirelessly, bringing that service back into the home. We saw on the demo that you're getting about 1.6 to 1.7 gigabits per second. 1.6 to 1.7 gigabits per second of backhaul as a result of using millimeter wave or Qualcomm's A2.11 AD technology. This over here on the pole is a 11 AD access point that's talk, talking to or connecting to the 11 AD access point that's 500 feet away where the fiber got terminated probably. Thank you.